With this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and show you how you can install Prusa Slicer on your Chromebook. Not only is Prusa Slicer an awesome, awesome tool, it's completely free. So let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to use FlatHub, uh, which has prepackaged Linux applications. And so we'll go ahead and click on Quick Setup. And there are all kinds of different distributions of Linux that are available for FlatHub, but the one that we want is the Chrome operating system. Now, step number one is to enable Linux support. We need to enable that, so we're just going to go into our settings here. And it used to be over here on the left, but they, they've changed it. So we're just going to search for Linux, hit Enter, and we need to turn this on. Click next. Yep. And this is going to take a few minutes. So now that the Linux shell has been installed on the Chromebook, it went ahead and opened up an instance of Terminal, which only makes sense. If it didn't do that for you, then just come down here and search for Terminal and start the application. But we've already got it started. So we're going to come back to our directions here and install Flatpak. So it's step number three. I'm just going to take and copy this code. Jump back into Terminal. Paste it. And hit Enter. You ask me if I want to continue with it, and I'll select Yes. And right down here at the bottom, it tells me that it was unable to fetch some applications or, or actually to connect with, with the website that it needs to install the tools. And it's probably because I'm using a really old Chromebook and I'm simultaneously while trying to install Flatpak. I am also recording it on Loom, which is probably a little processor intensive. So I'm just going to paste it again, hit yes again, and again, same thing. There we go. So it took me a few times to run the installer without errors again, probably because I'm just using a really old Chromebook. So now we'll go to copy the code in step number four, jump into here, paste it, hit enter, and hopefully this one will go just a little bit better. So let's now go ahead and go back to Flatpak, the home page here, and down at the bottom there's a place where we can say browse apps. I'll search for Prusa. There it is. Click on this and just jump right down to the bottom here. Copy this code and then paste it into terminal. It's looking for a match. Do we want to install it? We say yes. Yes again. And again, this is going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so our installation is complete. That took about, oh, I'd say about eight or nine minutes. So we'll run back in here and copy this last command. Then jump back into terminal and see if we were successful. And there we go. We've now opened up Prusa Slicer and going to take you to the configuration wizard. I'm not going to discuss all of that on this particular video. Just want to get it installed on Chromebooks and then we'll just go from there.